Sometimes it's good to highlight your mistakes. I don't want you guys thinking I'm perfect, right? So here's my first attempt at the thumbnail for this video. Here's me recording a section where I realized that the microphone wasn't turned on. And here's a section where I have the camera just way too close. Anyway, let's get on with my second week of practical in center and you can follow my journey as a vlog this week. Let's go. Hello, 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 okay, okay. So it is my second set of practical weeks in center and it's the first day. So I'm getting ready to head out. Quite excited for this. Again, some nerves. It's a whole new group of people and it kind of feels a little bit like the survival of the fittest. Everybody's in control of their own journey and becoming an electrician. And we're all getting to these practical points as quickly as we want to get to them. So, yeah, let's get on with this. See you later. The end of my first day in the second week of practical, which is technically my third and fourth week of practical. Um, completely new bunch of people, not been with any of these people on this course before. And that's going to be the story of all of this training. Everybody picks their own pace, but a nice bit bunch of people nice dynamic and seemed to be a little bit younger the room kind of there was quite a few in their kind of mid maybe late 20s which last time there was a few that were just a little bit older career changes in maybe their 40s or so so yeah that was kind of nice you could tell because there was a lot more uh, phones out at lunch time way to feel old um yeah we did trunking and we started working out um an entire setup for doing our own rig today which we'll do over the next few days which uses all the different containment systems and conduit so stuff like that and then we will put wiring into that and then do the dead test tomorrow we have the 2393 exam which is the buildings regs exam I think so I've been doing some revision for that tonight that's why it's dark already this time of year it should be a bit lighter but yeah that has kept me busy this evening. I think I'm as prepared as I'm gonna be, so I'll see you tomorrow evening after after that exam, hey? I might uh, might not be so positive, but I'm fairly confident the pass rate is 60%, so it should be okay. See you tomorrow. It's the end of day two, and in fact, it's my second time recording this due to my complete incompetence over turning a microphone on. Anyway, so I'm recording it late in the evening, hence the orange light. Had fun today. Um, we got on with our 2393 exam. Apparently it's a level three exam. The regs exam. I didn't realize till this morning that it was open book. So that made me way more relaxed. And I knew I was going to pass it. The 60% mark. Because you're just using the book. And everybody did pass it today, myself included. But I wanted to do really well at it, just for myself, really. So I spent a bit longer than some in there. Um, but I got all 20 of those questions right. So, yeah, quite happy, quite satisfied with that. Tomorrow we have our 203 exam. I think it is the Sciences, Fundamental Sciences exam. So that one is obviously not open book. There is some calculations in there and some stuff that I don't feel overly confident with, but we'll see how we go. I'm sure it will be okay. The pass rate is 50% and I've studied enough to get that. So I'm sure that'll be fine. We have also been working on our containment systems. So trunking and trays. So we bent those up based on a design and then we're implementing that onto a rig, basically, like a miniature design that gets us using all of these things. We've got metal conduit tomorrow and the plastic conduit. Um, a few more accessories to attach, and then we'll be wiring and testing those. And that's us done for the week then. So yeah, we'll see how we get on. I'm excited to get booking my next exam, uh, but at this stage, I have assignments that I've got to complete um, and then I'll be able to book it. And this is the frustrating thing. My experience so far is that when you want to book in to go to center, there's quite a delay. So I've got no doubt it's going to be another couple of months before I can get back into center. And I'll be honest, I'm pretty much ready to, to get on into center. 
with my final half week, which will have me finished with level two. So yeah, we'll just have to watch this space and carry on with the books and I'll carry on sharing my learning. Um, but I will catch up with you tomorrow um, and let you know how I got on with that science exam. See you soon. Oh, and one more thing before I go. This orangey light kind of reminds me of the things you end up doing for people when you have developed new skills. So we've been staying at my in-laws for the weeks that I've been training while others on the courses have been doing hotels or traveling. It has worked out quite convenient for me for my choice of provider. But yeah, last time we were here, I fixed a two-way light switching on the stairs for my in-laws. So you had to have the light switch in the on position or one of the positions downstairs for the upstairs light to work. And it turned out that the wiring was just wrong and there was a wire that wasn't connected. So I reinstated that. I'm not so familiar with the old colors, so I had to look up about the old colors. I also ended up replacing the bathroom pull cord for them because that was um, yeah, just didn't work very rarely in every like fifth or sixth pull before it would do anything. But yeah, I wonder how many other things I'm going to end up fixing for them. And just to make it clear, they haven't asked me, oh, can you do this? Can you do this? I'm a willing volunteer. Uh, yeah, great in-laws. Anyway, I'll see you tomorrow. Well, there we have it. Another day. Day three, complete. Today we prepped for our exam, the 602 Principles of Electrical Science. Ooh. And then in the afternoon, we got on with our rigs. So we finished our containment systems and now we're starting to put them in place and wire in our systems. I'm at the stage now where I need to pull the wires through. I've wired terminated my steel wired armor cable, but I need to terminate all of those cables, bring through, terminate them, and then test my setup. Apparently tomorrow being our last day, it's gonna be a shorter day. We'll have it done by midday apparently. We'll see how we get on. But I can't wait. And then on to the next practical week. See you tomorrow. Ah, there we have it. The end, the last day of my second week of practical. And what a week it's been. It's been really good. We've covered two exams. Two more of them ticked off. And we've also spent what felt like way more time on the tools. Uh, way more time practicing. And that's despite the fact that it's been a shorter week with a bank holiday Monday. It felt a little bit more rushed today, but we got there. We all got on just fine. It's been nice to have worked along with the people that I've worked with. I'm sure I said this last time, but even more so this time, there was more people in their 20s. So it was nice seeing um, a younger generation. And it was nice to see how everyone has a slightly different plan of how they want to put themselves into the industry. Um, a whole range. Just take, for example, there was a girl on the course. Let's be honest, a rarity in electrical work she was really good at her maths she'd been to uni with it and she was interested in electrical design and i really could see that being a good future for her she's going to be more than capable of doing that and i wish her well so yeah you know i have all sorts of plans and intentions myself but it's nice to see with a whole range of different options that people are considering. No one really has it fully set in stone. They're all a little bit unsure. See how they, see how it kind of finds them, the industry. And I've got interests in kind of solar, EV chargers, and perhaps running those self-employed, building up a business. Self-employment feels comfortable to me. It's what I know. I do that and I'm good at that. But I'm also interested in working on backup generators, climbing wind turbines, just to name two. And I feel that these are not perhaps as easy for me to get into self-employed. The tutor did say, oh, you're best off if you're going to be self-employed. Just starting off doing the basic jobs because the big electricians don't want to do these small jobs. But it just doesn't interest me. I'm interested in the renewables. I'm interested in how the grid is changing. That is what I plan on sharing on this channel as much as just the journey in becoming an electrician. So just to kind of leave you for today, it kind of made me think that nothing in life that is worthwhile pursuing is easy. You know that already, come on. But 
if you have a goal, if you have something that you're interested in, if you want to change career or just move on to the next thing for you, then go for it. Pursue your dreams. You are the master of your own destiny. Well, there you are. I'm going to spend a bit of time with my family and enjoy myself a cider while you get on with watching, I don't know, all the other Battery Man videos. Why not? See ya.